What's up guys, welcome to another top 5 where we take 5 things that you didn't know and talk about them. Hello everybody, I'm your host Christian Sokolay and today we're talking about top 5 accidental military strikes. Yeah, very light stuff, we're gonna have fun, no depression or suicide thoughts, let's go! <laughs> Number one is Albuquerque, New Mexico in 1957. This is one of the most famous US accidental military strikes because the government was trying to cover it up for 30 years. Which means it's not really even that intense. The only thing that really happened was that the plane that was carrying the hydrogen bomb uh, had the fa safety fail and the bomb landed and exploded. Luckily the plutonium pits weren't installed and the nuclear explosion did not occur. However, the bomb was quite loaded with explosives on top of uh, the nuclear part. So it did c create a boom nevertheless. But it hit an empty field. The only casualties were a cow that happened to be standing nearby. Which uh, official reports say aren't much, but I say, have a respect. Cows have feelings, okay? Poor Milka. Moving on to number two. <laughs> Our number two happened in Minot, North Dakota in 2007. Yes, you thought that these things were part of the past and then security is now way stronger. You were wrong. What happened was that uh, planes were supposed to transport weapons from one military base to another when like the guy who were ch was checking the bombs was making sure security was good. He checked the rockets on the right side and then just gave it a go, not realizing that there were uh, missiles on the left side uh, were armed. In this one, the bombs didn't detach from the plane, luckily, because they had the power of 10 Hiroshima bombs. 10 Hiroshima bombs. The really disturbing thing is that these armed missiles went through very low security and were transported with basically no other checkups up until at the point of landing which raises a lot of questions about weapon safety let's just roll the next sketch with that well the right bombs are fine so i assume the left ones are too fly at the plane Number three happened in 1958 in South Carolina. This one was the captain's fault. Uh, they were testing mock plane runs and stuff in the US Air Force and uh, what happened was the captain was checking the plane stats or something and accidentally hit the emergency release bin. The bomb dropped on Walter Gregg's house. Luckily no one died uh, because again the uh, nuclear part of the bomb wasn't armed but it still destroyed a lot of his house and uh, injured uh, all five of the family members. Walter Gregg uh, went on to sue the Air Force and got $54,000, which is almost half a million in today's money. Well, that pilot really needs to reconsider his job. Uh, fuel good, um, batteries good, all controls looking good. Uh, does the emergency release been work? Yes, it works. <laughs> Number four on our list is Palomares, Spain, 1966. What happened here was two planes collided mid-air, seven people died on board, four bombs fell down, two of which exploded on impact, two did not. They were both recovered by the US military, military later. Then they were sued by the fishermen who helped find one of the bombs. According to the military policy, um, he had the right to get 1% of the bomb's value, which happened to be equal to $20 million. They settled out of court for an undisclosed sum. Smart people. Chris, check this out. Whoa, what's up? This guy in Spain found a nuclear bomb. I got rich off of it. How'd you get rich off a nuclear bomb? 
Well, he found it, and then the government had to give him like one percent of its worth or something. But that was still a lot. He got really rich. So what does that have to do with anything in our lives? <laughs> I'm saying if we find a nuclear bomb, we can get rich. How are we going to find one, though? You know, it, it actually happens quite often. It almost happened in 2007 in North Dakota. Let's fucking hunt, then. <laughs> Our fifth and last uh, accident, a military airstrike was in Fairfield, California in 1950. What happened was General Robert F. Travis was flying this plane armed with nukes uh, to, to help the Korean War, but, you know, mid-air, one of the engines failed. He had to return to the base, but another error happened and the landing gear wouldn't pop up. Um, maybe maybe the guy who checked the missiles from, from number two checked uh, this plane too. Yeah, well, what happened is the plane couldn't land and the plane couldn't fly, so he had to crash land it um, far from the base in an empty area. It killed some people and uh, firemen tried to put it out, but the bomb exploded, killing more more of the firemen. The military base was renamed the Travis Air Force Base and to honor his name, which is nice. Holy shit, man, look! Look out the window! Look, look! Whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit! Whoa! Oh, wow! Fuck! Holy shit! That was... very convenient. Is it... what the actual... fuck? Whoa! Oh my god, is, is this... is this really happening right now? I don't know, man. I don't know. How are we gonna deal with that? Well, we need to get this up into my dorm before somebody else takes it. But... What if it, like, explodes? Do you want to die for? Sounds like you want to die for. No, I, I don't. I don't want to die for. Okay, all right. Are you kidding let's me? Do this. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Then help let's me do. out. Help me out. All right, all right. Let's go. Use them guns. Mm, mm. All right. You ready? Alright, that's it for this top five, guys. Thank you for watching. Today's question is, how would you stop the military from striking your house with a nuke? Yeah, leave comments below or on Facebook or on tweet me. Like and share this video, please. It really helps us. Um, subscribe to our channel Eagle 3 Films. That will be really nice and appreciated. Um, we're getting close to reaching 100 subscribers. Uh, so, and when that happens, we're working on our first ever music video. Yay! So we'll have that come in when that when we reach the goal. That is about it. Thank you for your support. You guys are awesome. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.